Hey, how you doing? Did you ever do show and tell as a kid? Like in kindergarten, something? This is like that, but it's a video. So it's a show and tell video. So I got three things planned for this video. This is uh, this is my home studio that we're currently sitting in right now. And you're, you're seeing, you always see this in my videos if you follow my channel. And I'm gonna show you everything in here. But first we're gonna start with another area, my little home theater, which is just outside this room. And this is a room inside a room, if I haven't mentioned that before. And I've got an amazing new addition to my home theater and 100% the catalyst for making this video. I've got some new home theater seats from Valencia and they're the sponsor of this video. They sent me some seats and uh, huge spoiler, they're ridiculously amazing. Most comfortable chairs I've ever sat my in. And uh, I'm making this video exchange and I get to keep them. So, so that's the uh, disclosure. That's how that works. But I thought what a great opportunity to do a full tour of everything. So let's do like it's basically all my hobbies, right? Music in here, out there. It's like movies, video games, all that stuff. So we'll do a full tour of everything. I'll be putting the chairs together. Uh, actually, they're already together now, but uh, let's pretend they aren't. And then we'll go through that. And I'll show you the major workout I got moving them. We'll see what I'm talking about. And then we'll come back in here and I'll show you all my guitar gear and my AV stuff, my audio, video equipment, my computers, how I do YouTube stuff. And uh, we're not how I do it, but the stuff I use to make this channel. So, all right, let's go show and tell. All right, here we go. You made it. Thanks for joining me. Um, you can see all the couches I got here. It's all Ikea stuff. In fact, that one couch on the right, I've had that since like 2001. Ektorp or something, I don't know. All right, uh, turn on some, some more lights. So you can see better better camera too. So let's go check out everything. I see I got these movie posters. I like Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a Terminator poster. I actually ordered Terminator 2, but they sent that. So I never sent it back. I just kept that one. I like Terminator 2 better. And then uh, Back to the Future and Ghostbusters, you know, classic movies from my childhood. And uh, I just like having them up there because then it means it's a movie place. So this is a, uh, a receiver from like the 70s. And uh, I bought it because it's like, I wanted one that's old and all analog. And uh, I use it for my turntable, and uh, which is over here. Or record player, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's a copy of Radiohead's The Bends. This is an Audio-Technica ATLP120 USB. It has a USB out, I don't use that. I just, I use it to go out to the, the receiver that you saw. Or is it a tuner? No, it's a receiver, that's right. And check out these speakers, these are vintage. Pretty sure they're from 1969, Dynaco. Got a pair of those. And those are what the turntable runs into. I've got the manual here. So there we go, there we go. Dynaco. And from Ring Sound on Spadina Avenue in Toronto, or Toronto, depending where you're from, how you say it. And it's, uh, yeah, they're ancient. And here's my vinyl collection. I don't know if you can read the titles on the side here. I got a mix of stuff. I got some uh, Radiohead and some Stone Temple Pilots, Beatles, a uh, mix of new and old. Lots of classics, you know. Uh, I don't even remember what I have. You know, I got this one. This uh, this is a classic. Here we go. Bad. Single. You know, everybody's got that. And then you got the uh, Do They Know It's Christmas single. And last but not least, Blue Jays. OK Blue Jays theme song. There we go. Um, I got more, but I just, that's, you know, what I grabbed. Because of, I'm holding a camera with one hand. So, OK, here's a, a look at uh, the ceiling and then panning down. That's what the camera just did. Uh, let's take a look at my video game stuff. So I've got the, uh, wait, where am I going? I've got, oh no, the receiver, S sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just talk about my sound system. So this is a Pioneer VSX 1131. It's really hard to focus on these, these uh, devices that are shiny like that. So this is a 7.2 Dolby Atmos surround sound system. That's the Xbox Series X and then uh, so there's a, I got Yamaha speakers, surround sound speakers. So that's the center. That's the left speaker. I'm trying to zoom in on the logo. Um, you see 7.2? Yeah, 7.2, there's the right. So that's three speakers. And then I got a ceiling. Oh, where are we going? Going over here. That's right surround. So that's uh, four. And 
five, right surround, left surround, and these are the Atmos. Those are in the top there. And then uh, ignore the water stains. It's fine, don't worry, nothing's leaking. It's all good. And so yeah, five, six, seven, it's a 7.1 surround. I've got these other speakers here. So I could actually do nine, but my, my amp doesn't, uh, when I say amp, I'm talking about the amplifier, not a guitar amp. Uh, it doesn't do the nine. So this is an Optoma. Um, I think it's an HD30. It's a 4K projector. It's like, um, it's not a budget projector. What was I doing? That's also not crazy expensive. It's it's decent. So anyways, here's the furniture again. I don't know why I moved back. Let's let's show you the, uh, the video game stuff I got here. So... Here is, uh, oh, first I want to show you my mini disc deck. This is from the 90s. Everybody remembers mini discs, right? That's the thing that never caught on. No, nobody had them. Um, let me just grab one here and see if I can actually load it in there. So there you go. You got the disc. It was like you could make mixed tapes. Oh, it's not plugged in. Make like mixed tapes, CD quality mixed tapes, basically. So, anyways, uh, forget about that. It's not ready. Here's my original Super Nintendo that I bought back in, I'm gonna say 92. And the bottom is yellow. I don't know why. It's been in storage. I guess the plastic just turns yellow. Uh, we've got some other gaming systems here. Nintendo games, NES, random stuff. All right, a couple more posters here. Jimi Hendrix. This is a poster from Sweetwater that they, they made for me when I went there for their gear fest. So that's awesome. Oh, that's my little workout corner. You know, they don't, uh, you can't get a body like this without all that working out okay and then this is my cds dvds uh yeah it's i've had these cds for years a lot of radiohead oh this is my copy of the room signed by tommy wiseau um if you know what that is means something to you if not then that's fine oh here's a uh, coolest thing first thing i ever bought on ebay back in 1999 it's a vhs cassette of radiohead's just video but it's three versions of the video so like the original and then yeah so he doesn't care he just puts it away anyways that's my uh, multimedia stuff uh, you know nobody uses that stuff anymore all right quick look at the projection screen I'm just gonna press the remote here to get it to yeah no it's not one of those it's not the fancy ones it's a uh, pull down but man it's huge it's like a, I think it's 106 inch diagonal it honestly looks better in in person camera's not really capturing the image very well but anyways oh yeah Mortal Kombat 1 new game I, I like Mortal Kombat and uh, you saw that I had Mortal Kombat 2 for Super Nintendo okay enough of this stuff let's get to the chairs because we got to get them in here okay um I don't know what part of the video this is I don't even know if this is in the video if it isn't in the video then you aren't watching this I don't know what that means so the boxes just came and just got delivered and uh I'm gonna follow the instructions on top. It says like, you gotta flip it over. Don't use a switchblade. So I'm gonna use a giant sword. And then uh, dump it out and then carry it downstairs. Cause there's no way I can carry these. They're like, they say uh, 76 kilograms. If you can convert that to um, pounds, it's a lot. It's weird in Canada, we, we haven't really, we do metric for everything, except for weight. I don't know why. It's super easy. 
Anybody can do it. Why show up two people on the box? Alright, we got the chair set up. Let's talk features. Um, I'll just show you the controls. The controls are pretty simple once you get to understand what the buttons do. So I just want to see how a guitar looked on it. The blue on the black with the blue buttons or blue uh, LED looked awesome. So here's the controls. You got your H button, which uh, lets you, it's like a home button, but it also lets you control the lights. So you double tap on it and you can switch between the lights. Or if you hold it down, it brings the chair back to its original position. So yeah, all the different colors. Then you got your eye, which is like a, a memory save. And then you got your uh, headrest, which you can tilt really forward. I found this kind of funny, but if it, the chair is all the way back, it actually makes sense. And then uh, lumbar support, so you can see the, the back support growing there. And it's really good. Um, and then the last part is the leg. The leg tilt, it lifts up the whole chair goes all the way back. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm sitting on it. Sam was very interested in it. <laughs> That's my dog, Sam. And then it's got two USB chargers. It's got a A and a C. And then you got your armrests. There's three of these here and you can fit a ton of controls. Here's a look at the back and Sam's very impressed. And uh, cup holders with the rings that are lit up. These are accessory holes for like add-ons that uh, they sell various things, um, different like tablet holders and trays. So here's fully extended or seated back I guess you see it doesn't really take up too much space in the back again Sam is like what is going on here what are you doing I want to sit in this chair it looks amazing no all right we're about to head in there head into my music room music studio I guess uh, but first there's this little section of space here just before we go in and uh, it's nothing really to show off. This is the table that I use when I'm working on guitar videos. So you can just see I have some stuff here. I'm sending back a guitar and I've got a bunch of parts. That's it. Nothing special. Uh, so let's go. Let's go inside my music room. Just follow me. So right outside the door here, I've got this sign. On air. The light's on. You don't go in. Because that means uh, I'm recording. That's what it means. I don't know what I was going to say. Okay, so uh, quick, ooh, lighting is really great. Uh, quick overview of what this room is. I've done videos on this. There's a huge video on my channel. Like I mean, it's got a lot of views. Uh, room inside a room, soundproofing. So this is a room and another room built inside it. So I can play guitar in here and uh, not have like the sound go out or sounds come in. So it's like a, I don't know if you can hear the acoustics change a little bit, so. All right, where are we gonna start? Let's start in my chair and let's, uh, it's actually like, face where my camera normally is so main camera is usually right there and I'm sitting here right now and uh, I've got this chair and then I've got all my stuff sitting here so let's uh, take a look just one sec here all right so yeah this is my main workstation here I've got a I'm back up a little bit see I've got these lights set up that's my lighting I always got three point lighting on when I'm making a video you know it stops shadows and stuff and makes you look pretty Okay, and then I've got microphones here. Uh, I've got this Shure SM7B. That's my main mic that I use for all my voiceovers, any videos pretty much. And uh, I've got a secondary camera here. Just mentioned these two cameras are Sony ZV-E1 
E10s. They're like the uh, entry level vlogging stuff. Um, what else we got here? So I got, uh, oh, all the audio is going into a Scarlett 18i8 interface. You can see I've got four XLRs going in. Two are the mics. I've got this other mic here. It's an Aston Spirit. I use that for vocals, like singing. And then uh, two of the other line outs, XLRs are going out to amps. We'll go to the amps in a minute. So uh, I've got a Mac Studio Pro. That's where I do all my editing. I use GarageBand, Logic, uh, Final Cut for my video stuff. And uh, let's see here. So I've got these monitors. These are Mackie monitors. I can't remember the model name, but I'll and a sub for it. Um, I'll put them, everything you see here, I'll put it in the description, all the model numbers and everything. So yeah, so it's uh, not a super clean workstation, but it's not bad, it's, it's, it's okay. Uh, moving on, so let's go to, uh, let's go to guitars. Uh, we'll, we'll just, I'll showcase the guitars I have in here. There's a few that aren't in the room, that means they're in cases or just somewhere else in the house, um, like probably the bathroom. So, all right, let's start over here. All right, in my corner here, uh, I've got this Hercules rack and you can hold, I've got four, four guitars. We've got an empty slot right now. Uh, i got a Yamaha, Yamaha Revstar. And I've got a Gibson, a couple Gibsons here, Les Paul, Special, Standard, and there's a PRS C24. This is um, a George Harrison Tele. And uh, this is a GT11 Fender Custom Shop, Sweetwater. And then I've got a D'Angelico Premier SS uh, 79 Strat. Got an Ibanez Prestige AZ. If I'm getting any names wrong, it's because I'm going st straight from memory and I'm, I'm forgetting stuff. Uh, I've got this new one. This is my newest guitar. It's a Vintera 2. Uh, shoot, what was the name? Mustang. Contemporary Mustang. That's what it is. So yeah, it's a bass. Uh, I've got a Lego guitar and a, another fake guitar and then another fake guitar. And this is my first Tele ever. It's a Tele Plus. And then behind the door, I've got a Squire uh, Sonic. That's uh, the bullet replacements. Uh, let's talk, oh, over here, Breedlove Acoustic. So there we go. All my other acoustics are packed away in cases. So let's talk about my pedal board here. All right, it's, um, it's pretty packed. It's a Diodario Pedal Expand, the ones that expand. <laughs> it's, it's a good name. And uh, we'll go left to right. I've got the Shure wireless system. It's also a tuner, so it's the first one. And then I got, uh, kind of blocking it there. I've got a Whammy, Digitech Whammy 5, I think. Fuzz Face Mini, Tube Screamer Mini, Joyo Sweet Baby, uh, Boss SD1, Shredmaster, Marshall. Rev, Chatbreaker, Ibanez Chorus, MXR Phase 95, uh, Earthquaker Devices, Dispatch Master. <laughs> I don't know what the name is. And then uh, they're going out to, well, they're all powered by two. I've got two of these uh, Voodoo, I want to say Voodoo 2 from, from those old 3DFX video cards. Voodoo Lab Pedal Power 2 Plus. I got two of them. I've got them on top. I could put them on the bottom. I just don't have the rails set up, so maybe one day. Uh, a loop station, and then a big shot ABY, and that's leading out to the amps. So what do I have plugged in right now? I've got, let's talk about my amps. On the top there, we've got Paul Reed Smith HDRX20. So it's one of the, yeah, it's one of the outputs right now. Uh, got a Rev D25. That's going XLR out into that Scarlet, right? It's one of those. You can't see it right now because it's on the back. So I'm using the two notes, built-in two notes. Uh, next one down, Princeton with an Alnico Blue. Um, and this is the cab for the PRS on the top. It's the biggest cab I have. It's really, really bassy. I love it, it's really good. And then an AC-15 with uh, Celestian Blue Alnico. So I got two blues. And then uh, of course, a Lego Princeton amp and some accessories and things. I think that covers it. Um, if you have any questions about this, this is this is my little studio. It's like, if you're wondering how big the room is, it's very small, it's eight by 12 feet. So it's hardly big enough for two people in here. It's usually why 
Well, I don't have any friends, but if I did, they would hardly fit in here. So that's uh, sad. Oh, I didn't mention all the posters on the wall. These are pop cult posters. I was trying to remember the name. I've got a bunch. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them. They sent me those. Check out. So what else? What else I got to say? Uh, I made some notes about the chairs, so uh, just wrote them down. I'm going to talk about them now. Amazing comfort and quality. They were super easy to assemble. Uh, no tools required, but use a helper. I didn't use a helper, so in fact, I was the tool that put them together. The Nappa leather. I never tried Nappa leather before. It's beyond comfortable. It's like pillows of clouds. That's, I don't know. And the back support is amazing. In all my chairs in the house, I put a pillow behind my lower back. You don't need to with that because it's got the lumbar support. And the storage in the arms, it's massive. It's so massive you could hide in there. Play hide and seek. No, don't do that. And you're probably saying, of course you have good things to say about it. They sent them to you and no charge. But no, go look at other reviews. I'm not making anything up. These are amazing. Truly amazing. And I'm super fortunate to get to try them and have them here. So crazy it's crazy it's honestly it's crazy uh if there's one petty thing about the chairs i feel stupid even saying this because i should not even complain about anything the uh the controls don't light up when so you can't see them in the in the dark that's uh, kind of sad that i even complained about that because i shouldn't there's no reason to that's all okay uh super thanks to valencia again check out their site and all their models uh, beyond highly recommended. They have customization stuff. If you want to get these chairs in blue, they can do that. It's, I saw that. If I would have known that, damn. Shoot. Anyways, uh, next time I'll get them in blue. All right, as always, no, blue wouldn't, uh, you know, I got to get over that blue thing. If you have any comments, any questions about the chairs, anything. Well, not anything. Almost anything. All right, it's $10 a question. Okay, as always, <laughs> All right, as always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.